Hello, Hampton Dumont. Welcome back to the 2021 school year. This is Mr. Walton here. I just want to welcome you back and tell you that I know this is going to be a year that is much, much different than anything you've ever seen. But please understand that the school has put in place so many things for this to be a great school year, a safe school year, and a productive school year. Follow those things, live up to those expectations, know that everyone throughout this district, from administration to support staff to teachers, has your best interest at heart. And if we can all work together, not only will this be a year that is different than any other, it could be the best year that we have had. Welcome back and everyone looks forward to working with you. Like up the student support staff this year. Welcome back students. Mr. Carr, high school guidance counselor. Mrs. Crawl, high school guidance counselor. Mrs. Kangas, high school talented and gifted. Mrs. Peters, I am the academic success coach. Hi, Mrs. Spradlin, alternative high school and success center. Mrs. Powell, activities and guidance assistant. Mrs. Wolford, Administrative Assistant. Mrs. Walton, one of the secretaries here at the high school. Okay, your procedures for your arrival to school each day. Bus students, if you ride a bus, your temperature is going to be checked before you get on the bus. If your temperature is under 100.4 degrees and you're okay to ride the bus to school, once you get to school, you do not need to have your temperature rechecked. You are okay to enter at the appropriate doors, which we're going to explain which doors those are for bus students here in just a little bit. Uh, early bird PE students, Mrs. Moorhead is going to be at an entry that will show you to check your temperatures to make sure they are under 100.4 degrees. Um, and then everyone else as well, once you arrive at school, we're going to show you which doors that you're going to go to, uh, but you will have staff there to take your temperatures. If it is under 100.4 degrees, you're okay to go ahead and get your things and go to your first hour class. If it is over, you're going to be taken to kind of a cool off zone in the wood shop. Um, and in about 10 minutes after that, Nurse Jenny will recheck your temperature. So if you're still over 100.4 degrees at that point, your parents are going to need to be notified to come pick up their student. Students, after you get your temperatures checked and you're okay to go, you're going to sanitize your hands at the entry as well. Upon arrival and negative screening, so if you don't have a temperature of over 100.4 degrees, you're going to follow the traffic patterns to your locker. You're going to get what you need for first period and take it to your first period class. If you're going to eat breakfast, which we're going to talk about those procedures here in just a little bit, you'll follow the traffic patterns to the breakfast line. And com the commons, um, we can spread out that line to make sure that we have plenty of distance between one another because we're always going to avoid clusters and groups. Welcome HD students to Channel 7. This is the weather report from Bulldog TV. This is our COVID-19 weather report for you guys and how things are going to flow just like the weather, okay? So this year things are going to little, look a little bit different. We have specific directions that we want you guys to follow when you come into the building, okay? So for example, if you come in over here by the art room door, Okay, you'll notice there are some arrows. There are gonna be two arrows, one going this way, one going that way, okay? And you have to follow the direction. So let's say you have to get to your locker. You come in here. You're gonna come down this doorway past Mrs. Hoyg, Mr. Um, Miller, it's Mr. How can I have lost it? Anyway, keep going down, okay? <laughs> and follow the arrows, all right? So if you need to get to your, your locker, you're gonna follow the arrows to get there, okay? And we're going to be going in one direction just because it's the safe thing to do for COVID. We don't want you to be mingling together in the hallways. We want to keep traffic moving, traffic flowing, so nobody's expect or exposed to each other for longer periods of time, okay? 
So we see the commons here. No different if you came into this door. You're gonna go to your locker in this direction. Freshmen and some sophomores, yes, you're gonna have to walk all the way around. I know that seems really silly to do that, but it's for your safety, okay? Uh, there's a lot of arrows going on here. A lot of arrows. I don't get it. Like, I a... know, how are you supposed to keep track of which way to go? And my sign is different than your sign. I know, one says one way, you got all these arrows. More arrows. More arrows. Guess what, guys? Just so you guys don't get confused, we had these handy dandy arrows hanging up in the hallway. Yeah, so look, there's, 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 there's one right here. Here's one as well. Okay, and you're also gonna see a sign that says wrong way. So here are the three signs oh, that you are going to see. Yes. Can go that way? Yeah. Wrong way. So one way, one direction. That means everybody's gonna come this way. Okay. So for example. Which sign are you gonna see here? Wait, when you wait, enter. Where are we on the Where are we gonna sign? Where, 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 where are we? Wait, let's think. Oh! Hey, there's the there's the band room. I'm right by the band room. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Well, here's where we're at right here. So, so I'm what sign do you expect to see? The one, one way. way. One way. That's how I gotta go to the ag room. If I got ag, I gotta go this, I would go this way, and then through the gym. Because I can't go over by the art room in the kitchen because it's the wrong way. That's correct. Very yeah, good. My double sign? Look out there. Look at the top. I see two arrows. Yep. We can come and go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here, 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 and here. Okay. Basically, anywhere where you have an entrance to the school building, you're going to see a sign like this. Because obviously, we need to be able to get in and out of the school building. Okay. When we come and go. But otherwise, within, it's a contained system. So we're going to follow that. So if you're going the wrong way, if you're trying to go this way, okay. You're gonna see this sign hanging in the hallway right here. Okay. okay? Same thing over here. If you're going this way, you're gonna see this. Hey, hey Mr. Madison, he's okay. going the right way. He's going yeah. the right way. Yeah. Good. And of course, the teachers will be in the hallway to help kind of redirect you if you need to, okay? And we understand that's gonna be tricky with bathrooms and passing time and that kind of thing. And yes, we're gonna ask you to go all the way around to get to whatever bathroom you need to get to. So Bear with us, we're all in this together, okay? We're all bulldog strong, and um, please just try to go with the flow, no yeah. pun intended. Thank you for watching, For those of you who plan on eating breakfast this school year, there's a little bit different procedures there as well. We'll begin serving breakfast at 7.45 a.m. Breakfast will be taken to your first period classroom when you're expected to eat your breakfast in there to avoid gatherings in the hallways and in the commons. Students, you're going to be asked to return items to the kitchen as soon as you're finished with them and then go back to your first hour class even though school has not started yet. Again, we're going to avoid clusters and groups in the hallways and cafeteria. Uh, when you're finished, you're going to use the hand sanitizer in your first hour classroom. Students that arrive before 8.05, here's where you have some choice. So we start serving at 7.45, and if you get there between those um, times of 7.45 and 8.05, you have a choice between hot breakfast or cold breakfast. After 8.05, you can still get breakfast, but you don't have that choice anymore of a hot option. So it'll be a cold breakfast option. You won't have a choice after 8.05. So if you come between the hours of 7.45 and 8.05, you have a choice between hot and cold breakfast. Um, when you dump your tray, you're actually going to, since trash will be minimal with these breakfasts, you're going to find the nearest trash in the hallway, dump what you can, and return to um, the lunch ladies what shouldn't be thrown away.
Man, I love a hot omelet. I'm glad I got here before 805. After 805, I'd be stuck with this whole food. <laughs> here are your lunch procedures for this year. Biggest difference? Your first hour teacher, during your first hour class, the first thing that he or she is going to do is ask you to identify if you would like the grab and go option, which is a salad or sandwich, or a hot lunch option. So if you like what's on the menu for hot lunch, you're going to say, you're going to raise your hand when he or she asks, do you want hot lunch? If you don't love what's on the menu for a hot lunch option or you prefer the other option, you're going to tell them, I would like the grab and go. Okay, it's important that once you make a decision that you don't change your mind because this is going to help us prepare for you and make things run smoothly. So if you identify that you want the grab and go option, you need to stick with that for your lunch option and vice versa. Dismissal for lunch is going to be by hallway and advisory. So you're going to go with your advisory You'll be dismissed down the hallway by your advisory. Students, you're going to sit in the same group of students at lunch every day. So you can stay in the cafeteria and you can choose where you sit and who you sit with, but we do ask that you sit with the same people each day. If something's going to change with that, you need to talk to your advisor. Students, you're going to alternate sides of the lunch tables by lunch shifts. So the odd side, if you have lunch first and third shifts, you're going to sit on the odd sides of the table, and those are marked out in the cafeteria. If you eat second shift lunch, if your advisor eats second shift lunch, you're going to sit on the even sides of the table. And that's going to allow for there to be cleaning and sanitizing in between those lunch shifts um, to keep you safe. Overflow. So when we have all of our students or when we have a full house in the lunchroom, um, when we're at full capacity in the vocal hallway and the picnic tables outside when the weather is nice, that's where you would go to social distance and eat your lunch when we're too full in the cafeteria. Your advisory, there are shifts for three different lunches, for three different lunch shifts. So right now I need to know who's going to um, eat lunch today and what type of lunch you're going to eat so that I can mark it in power school so the person can get the thing. Who's going to eat power uh, school? Okay. Is anybody going to eat the grab and go? Okay. When we switch classes, students, your classroom tables or desks will be sanitized by an adult or by a designated student at the end of the period in between classes. Students during class will be facing the same direction. In the hallways, students and staff must follow traffic flow. There are one-way signs throughout the building that will help you remember which direction to go. Upon entry into each classroom, students, you need to sanitize your hands. There's sanitizer available at the door of every classroom. We ask that you take turns at your locker. And while drinking fountains are disabled, the bottle fillers work. You need to bring your own bottles for water to school so we can keep those separate.
general classroom practices. Students, you will pick up your school-issued mask from your first period teacher. So they have your masks on the first day. You'll write your names in them. They'll be washed each night. But you need to go right from the door to pick up those masks from your first hour teacher. At the end of the day, you're going to return the masks to the bag that's outside your first hour teacher's door for your convenience. If you are going to wear the school issued masks, when you get your temperature checked, if you didn't bring a mask from home, that's okay. We'll give you a disposable mask and you can wear that to your first period class to pick up your mask for the day. If you prefer to wear your own mask, that is perfectly fine. You just wear that to school, get your temperature checked, and you don't need to worry about going to pick up your mask from your first hour teacher. So get your mask first period from your first hour teacher, and at the end of the day, you need to return the mask to, to the bag outside your first period teacher's door. Cell phones. As always, all cell phones must be placed in your computer bags during class and not taken out at all. Masks are required at this point, so it's important that um, you wear those masks. We have incorporated some little mask, spray, mask breaks, so when announced by your teacher, um, you're going to be able to spread out and just kind of take a break from your mask just for a few minutes and then return to your seats. Supplies. There's going to be no sharing supplies in the classroom, in science labs. At any point, we do have supplies ready for you, uh, but we ask that you don't share those supplies. Restrooms can be used during passing time and one at a time during class. And then, of course, proximity from one another. We're going to social distance as best as we can at all times. We're going to avoid gathering in the hallways or the classrooms or the cafeteria or the gym. We're always going to avoid clusters and gatherings. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you for cleaning your hands. I'm going to get my mask on. Oh, and thank you for putting yours in a safe place. Good morning. Good morning. Did you want to pick up your bulldog mask today? I'm just going to wear mine. I like mine. Sounds good. Thank you. Your end of the day dismissal will be staggered. So bus riders, you're going to get to go first. So at 312, you're going to be dismissed for the bus. After that, we'll stagger by a couple of minutes as it's listed here. Seniors and juniors, that hallway is going to be dismissed next. Then students from the sophomore hallway, then the freshman hallway. Sports and activities, because you're staying in the building, you are going to be dismissed last. So if you have a practice for either sports or another activity, you're going to remain in class until about 316. And we need you to leave the building ASAP if you're not one of those sports or activities people. Again, we always have to avoid clusters and lots of people in the hallways, which is why those dismissals are going to be staggered. So we need you to get to your locker, get your things, and so sorry, we need you to go ahead and leave the school pretty much immediately. Um, again, your school issued masks then, you're going to circle back real quick and drop your mask if you use the school issued mask into the bag outside your first hour teacher's door and uh, hit the road. Good, good job. Oh, 312 bus riders, it's your time to go. If you're a bus rider, you can start heading to your locker. Okay. It works. Oh, 313 juniors and seniors, you're free to go. Juniors and seniors, free to go. Next word, this is one we haven't had yet, Mrs. Soderberg. Can you help me with this word? Pen. Pen, good, good job. 
314 sophomores. Sophomores. If you're a sophomore, Bye. see you tomorrow. It is 316, and since you're a volleyball player, it's, it's your turn to go. Good luck. Have a great practice. Thanks, Remember, coach. return your mask to your first period class. Okay. All right. First yep. Have a okay. great, have a great practice. Thanks, coach. See you Thanks. later. See ya. Here's what we want you to do, students. Breathe. It's gonna be okay. Matter of fact, take a deep breath right now. I wasn't kidding. Do it with me, students. Here we go. Close your eyes. Wiggle some part of your body. Let out the breath. We're here for you, and take one day at a time. Go, dogs. Greetings, Bulldog Nation. I'm Mr. Madsen, and it's a great day to be a Bulldog. As I'm alone in my office right now, I'm gonna take this off so you can hear me a little better. Oh, how we have missed the greatest part of our work, and that is seeing you every day. We all went home on March 13th, 2020, and never got to say goodbye. Now it's August, and we're very excited to say hello and welcome. We can't wait to see you. As we begin the 2021 school year, you'll quickly become aware that we are, we've made some important changes to the way we operate, at least for now. One of the most significant changes is the style of learning. We knew we were going into this year and that there could be a, a chance that we would have to do distance learning again. Based on the difficulties that we observed last spring when we went into the expected distance learning, we knew changes would be necessary. We recognized that eight classes was just too much to expect students to keep up with on a daily basis. This year, we've reduced the daily class load to four periods. You'll still be able to get all of the classes you could, you know, in the past years over the course of a year and possibly more, but your daily load will be reduced to help you stay caught up. We're hopeful that this will help you and your teachers have a much better opportunity for successful learning, which is a key to your successful future. Another reason for reducing the number of classes per day was to limit the number of times in a day that we're out in the hallways and in the commons areas of the school. This is another place where you'll see significant change as described earlier in the presentation. Social distancing, face coverings, sitting on one side of tables at a time, certain desks being used and, and others being used in another class, one-way traffic in the hallways during passing times, frequent hand sanitizing and washing, etc. All of these things are in place so that we can do our best to respect the safety and well-being of everyone and to make sure that we can keep our doors open so that you can be here to learn. As we feel strongly that the best learning takes place in school. We've also looked at ways to support each of you as students. We have two school counselors. We've added space to the Success Center. We've added a bilingual secretary for the activities and counseling department, Brenda Espeo. And we've added a position dedicated to the academic success of all students. Michelle Peters, who taught math last year, is our new academic success coach. She, along with Mrs. Kroll, Mr. Carr, Mr. Hoy, Mrs. Spradlin, your advisor, and myself, are all here to help you be successful in your learning at HDHS. None of us should be fooled into thinking this will be an easy transition. Your success will require a lot of work on your part, too. We'll have to learn to be effective communicators with each other so that we're able to help each other when we need it most. Our goal has not changed. We're dedicated to you. We're dedicated to provide you with the best educational experience possible. We want you to graduate from this high school with the knowledge and skills you're going to need not only to be competitive at the next level, but to excel, thrive, lead, and succeed. Welcome to Hampton Dumont High School. You're in the right place. You are a bulldog. Thank you. Bueno.